what is going on ladies and gentlemen my name is Nicola Espresso and today we're going to be talking about the Call of Duty Ghosts guns and by that there's been a lot of information thrown around and a lot that's not exactly all that entirely new but at the same time I didn't get a chance to cover the topic and I'm going to try and go a little more in depth than probably the usual person that you've seen go in depth about the guns. I'll be wrapping them up in a quick little summary about each gun that we're given so far and then also provide the actual stats and figures for each gun on screen as well. Now, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Let's start off with the assault rifles. First, we got the AAC Honey Badger. Well, this thing is actually a very versatile weapon, one that is used in close quarter combats as well as in long range gunfights. The retractable stock that it'll have will allow for more stability and better accuracy. The actual gun itself packs punch two, as with a silencer, it still has the stopping power of that of a higher caliber round. If we were to see any stealthy type missions, I'd assume that we'd see the Honey Badger featured in those missions. Next up, we have the Czech CZ 805 Bren. This AR was completely completed in 2009 and was used to replace the SAVZ-58. The versatility of this weapon as well is very high as you can change the calibers of the gun depending on what type of use you're using it for. This is possible by the quick change barrels allotted with the gun itself. You can change it to the short carbine, the intermediate standard, or the long marksman and the heavy squad automatic barrels available for each caliber. Fully automatic and with 30 rounds per clip, you'll be able to do some real damage in multiplayer with this weapon. Next up, we have one of the favorites in the Call of Duty series, the AK-47, the Russian assault rifle that everybody seems to love. Well, that's making a return here in Call of Duty Ghosts. The 30 round full automatic assault rifle with its durability and reliability as well as sheer power has pretty much brought this to one of the favorites by the Call of Duty fans themselves and in essence, solidified its place in Call of Duty Ghosts. Next on the agenda is the MTAR. Well, this is making a return from Call of Duty Black Ops 2. The fully automatic Israeli rifle is phasing out the TAR-21 and is now the standard issue weapon of the Israeli infantry. This full auto assault rifle is configurable by either hand, so it makes it very adjustable and very versatile for the type of soldier using it. And being lightweight and waterproof, this rifle is suited best for fast urban combat. Moving on, we have the Belgium FN FAL, and this is one that has been a fan favorite as well for select fire weapons, and the actual gun itself, well, it packs a punch. Rumor has it that this FAL will be fully automatic, but again, that's rumor at this time. Whether this has a select fire on it, or if it's actually fully auto, We'll see in the near future. As in previous Call of Duties, the fire itself has been pretty deadly, and I'm assuming the actual damage will be just as high in Call of Duty Ghost as it has been previously, so time will tell with that one again. The mag size is estimated to be around 20 clips as per usual, and as always, we're going to have a high range of fire. The Beretta ARX-160 is a standard issue for the Italian Army. Developed to push the boundaries of the Italian Armed Forces, the gun itself is built with polymer upper and lower receivers, making the rifle very lightweight. With recoil being low to medium and a range of medium, well, I'm assuming this AR is going to be used for more close combat rather than scoping out and then nailing a target from afar. Next, we have the SMGs. The first submachine gun we're going to talk about is the Chris Vector. With a fire rate of 1,000 rounds per minute, this is faster than the Vector in Black Ops 2, but also slower than the Scorpion Evo, just to give you a perspective into the rate of fire. With an asymmetrical recoil and inline design system, it's going to reduce recoil and give you the most accuracy for your shot. With 30 rounds per mag and the statistics matching pretty much that of the Modern Warfare 2 version, well, looks like we're going to see the return of the Infinity Ward favorite. And perhaps the biggest fan favorite of the Infinity Ward guns is the Ump 45. That's going to be making a return here in Call of Duty Ghosts. The mid-range 25 round UMP 45 was designed to be the universal SMG offering versatility, durability, as well as reliability. With a folding stock, as well as being lightweight and packing a punch, this makes it the most ideal weapon for close quarters combat. With a fire rate of around 666 shots in Modern Warfare 3, we can expect the fire rate to be somewhere around that. The UMP was designed to replace the MP5, but both of those are still in production today, and both were actually in the last Modern Warfare game, so can we expect to receive a return of the MP5 as well? The final weapon that I'm going to cover here today is the Russian APS. This is a special weapon we got a glimpse at in the behind the scenes trailer and this is one that is specialized in underwater combat. Designed by the Russians for the need to fight the US frogmen in the Cold War, this weapon looks to be making a return here in Call of Duty Ghosts. 
more accurate and powerful than a spear gun, as well as being able to penetrate dry shoots and protective helmets, this is an ideal weapon for an underwater match. However, since the barrel itself is not rifled, out of water the gun is extremely inaccurate. However, with most guns being rendered useless underwater, I'm not expecting to see this in any sort of multiplayer environment, as unless it's in a water situation, the gun itself is just terrible. I'm expecting to see this only in the campaign. That has been my time, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope I gave you guys some little more insight on the guns that we are given here in the trailer and the behind the scenes trailer itself. So I'm going to be leaving the link in the description below to a very, very good post on the Call of Duty forums explaining all these guns in detail a little bit more than I could because I am no gun buff and you guys may very well not be either. Be sure to subscribe for any more Call of Duty Ghost information. I'm going to be bringing you guys the best and the newest of Call of Duty Ghost information as soon as I get it. Remember, shares to your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace if you're OG like that are greatly appreciated comments and likes i always love seeing those and hearing from you guys so if you could do that and leave a like for me that'd be awesome and i've been in cool espresso guys i hope you guys are having a great day as always and until next time i shall see you later peace